Hi everyone, it's Gary Nixon here for the Mountain Weather Information Service. This is your planning outlook video updated on Friday the 19th of January. Now we're still cold in the short term. We've got to the risk of some widespread snowfall on Sunday as fronts run into cold air, but they bring the transition to less cold air or much milder conditions even uh, as we head in towards the middle part of the week as winds look like turning southwesterly at least for a few days. So an extensive thaw is looking believable. England and Wales are most pronounced, but even on the Scottish Munros you may just lift above freezing for a day or so. Let's have a quick run through the temperature maps and this is around 4,500 feet in the atmosphere and in the short term we've got that cold air in place and as we just mentioned but a change developing from the southwest as we progress through the weekend. A slow transition though and I think through Sunday daytime it's still cold enough extensively for snowfall to come in. And it looks as though as we go through Sunday into Monday, temperatures try and lift just above freezing briefly. But I think it's a short-lived lift at that stage as uh, temperatures on the Munros maybe stay at freezing or just below through Monday daytime. And maybe stay that way as we start Tuesday as well. A secondary push of less cold air, much milder air across England and Wales, it must be said, comes in through Tuesday into Wednesday. Uh, just uncertainties on the temperatures across northern Scotland at this stage. Maybe just a lift at the very least from what we've seen, perhaps becoming milder for a few days. So here's a look at Saturday's chart and we've got uh, fairly slack pressure across the country. The uh, showers that have been around in previous days, just fewer and further between, one or two around Irish sea coasts, a few towards the northern side of the highlands, but many places dry and bright with a good amount of sunshine. Just more in the way of cloud cover across Wales and what's left of a weak front may be enough to produce uh, areas of drizzle or some uh, patchy snow on uh, some of the western hills, but shouldn't amount to a great deal. The next fronts though are starting to move in from the southwest. As we head through into Sunday, they pile northeastward. Now, still a lot of uncertainty of the exact uh, progress and timing of these fronts. Uh, uh, some of the models are much slower, taking these fronts northeastwards into the Scottish Highlands, which may well mean that parts of the Cairngorms and the far north stay dry for a good part of the day. But elsewhere, snow developing and with cold air still very much in place, that will persist uh, to fairly low levels for a good part of the day. Although I think uh, across Wales, as just warmer air gets in here, any early snow will soon turn to rain as uh, freezing levels lift most likely above the summits. But uh, snowfall could be extensive on the Pennines, only later turning to, to uh, rain at uh, lower levels. Some strong winds as well, possibly gale force in many of the upland areas. Now there's Monday's chart. We've got uh, Sunday's system having cleared northeastwards again. Tricky with the exact timing and what's left of that in uh, Monday daytime and it could well be a secondary feature just running in across the uh, central southern parts of England. How far north that gets again is uncertain so don't assume this chart is the final answer to things. It must be said the computer models are struggling just at the moment. I think uh, across Scotland you'll still be below freezing on most of the higher mountains with some snow showers maybe coming in from the northwest. Uh, driest towards the east. Now it's Tuesday, this is where the more pronounced southwesterly flow looks like getting in and temperatures I suspect will lift as the day goes on uh, with some rain coming in, maybe for a time preceded by snow on the Scottish mountains, but I think uh, more likely now that that will turn increasingly to rain. The risk of winds strengthening up to gale force pretty widely as the day goes on. So by Wednesday, a southwesterly wind is in place. A waving frontal system is across western mountains. Could be some prolonged falls of rain across parts of Wales, the Lake District, southwest Scotland. And on top of previous day's rain and some snow melt, there could be some concerns for flooding and becoming wet underfoot, uh, particularly across those at western mountains. Uh, strong to gale force, south-southwesterly winds. Across northern Scotland, maybe lighter winds, depends on the exact detail. I think a struggle to keep temperatures below freezing. Most places then by this stage much much milder. Just how high those temperatures go in Scotland is still somewhat uncertain into the middle part of the week but I think we have to accept that for most places you'll rise above freezing and see a thaw even towards higher tops as we go through the middle part of the week. Subtle variations in the computer models have not performed brilliantly in recent times. There's been a lot of chopping and changing, but I think uh, the pattern looks a bit more convincing now, and it's maybe not the one we'd want to see uh, for winter conditions as southwesterly winds just take hold for a few days. Now, later in the week, there's scope for freezing levels to drop as the, the wind flow turns a bit more west to northwesterly. So I think as we head towards the second half of the week and maybe even towards next weekend, things may just turn that bit colder again. 
what happens as we go towards the weekend and weekend and beyond still again some uncertainties in the picture it looks as though higher pressure is trying to build from the southwest and that the idea of them becoming drier compared to where things would have been in midweek exactly where that high then builds will dictate what the temperatures are and that is the least certain part of the forecast going towards the end of january just at this stage there's still quite a strong school of thought which says that if high pressure can start to establish itself more towards Scandinavia as we head towards the end of the month or maybe even into February that we might find a colder easterly re regime uh, try and set itself up. So we'll see where things go with all of that and we'll update this full planning video again for you on Tuesday. In the short term at least enjoy the wintry conditions and watch out for that extensive snowfall on Sunday and then just prepare for something a bit wetter and more unpleasant for a few days. Thanks for watching, bye for now.